So I think it's fair to say that we won't be talking too much longer about the NBA Finals after the Cavaliers collapsed in the latter stages of the fourth quarter last night to give the Warriors a commanding 3 nothing lead. No matter what J.R. Smith may or may not think, it is over. The fat lady is waiting in the wings, and she is ready to sing at Quicken Loans Arena probably tomorrow night. But hey, it's all about baseball. Last night, I took a split with the complimentary plays, losing with my first half play on the Cavaliers, and then picking up a win later in the evening with the Diamondbacks on the run line as a $1.15 home dog as they cashed with Zach Greinke on the hill against San Diego. Two more complimentary plays, both in baseball for your Thursday night card. Let's get with it. First play, I am going to go tonight with the Houston Astros, who obviously are in a big-time slump. Of course, I am being sarcastic. Yes, I know. Me being sarcastic, you are probably shocked with that statement. But the Astros had won 11 straight games overall and on the road going into Tuesday's game at Kansas City, but then their bullpen totally collapsed, and they allowed the Royals to rally from six runs down to score a 9-7 win. And then the Royals won again last night. Well, can the Royals make it three in a row, or will the Astros, who still have the Major League's best record at 41-28 and and the Major League's best road record at 22-8, and rebound tonight? Now, they are a 125 run line favorite, because that's the only way you can play them tonight, laying the one and a half runs. And that's the way I would suggest going in this contest with Lance McCullers Jr. on the road against Jason Hamill. Uh, the Royals have won two of Jason Hamill's 11 starts this season. Two of them. They have both come against the Cleveland Indians. Well, the Astros are not the Indians. So I am going to go against the Royals tonight. And Jason Hamels, who has a 5.65 earned run average at home. Opponents are batting 295 against him. The only saving grace for Hamill is that runners in scoring position against him are only batting 220. But still, the Royals are 2-9 and nine in the starts. And those two wins have come against the Indians. So I rest my case. Uh, Kansas City wins 7-5 last night, 9-7 two nights ago. Again, the Astros going with Lance McCullers. Now, he has not pitched as well on the road as he has at home, and he did struggle a bit in his last start at Texas, although the Astros did win that game. He did not pitch that well. Four and a third innings, six hits, four runs. Did have eight strikeouts, but did not come nearly as close to pitching well as he did in the month of May when in six starts he earned American League Pitcher of the Month honors when he went 4-0 with a 0.99 earned run average. But I'm willing to take the Astros to bounce back from their consecutive losses in this one. Uh, the Cubbies tonight are entertaining the Colorado Rockies at home. You know, the Rockies, FYI, are 21-10 and on the road, they've won four straight coming into this game. John Lester hooking up with Tyler Chatwood. No, Tyler Chatwood, if I'm a major league general manager, I'm looking at guys that maybe could bolster my pitching staff. I'm looking at Tyler Chatwood and going, maybe I got to get Ch- Tyler Chatwood because he's not doing the Rockies any good. Because this is a guy who has proven for one reason or another, maybe it's mental, psychological, whatever, he cannot pitch in Denver. He cannot pitch at Coors Field. The numbers bear fruit and prove me to be right on this point. Because in six road starts this year, he has a 2.68 earned run average. At six home starts this year, it's a 7.03 earned run average. Last year, eight and one with a 1.69 earned run average in 13 road starts. In 14 home starts last year in the thin air of Denver, 4-9 4-9 record and a 6.12 ERA. So if I'm a general manager out there and I'm looking to bolster my pitching staff, I'm calling the Rockies and going, hey, listen, you got a pitcher that is only good for half of his starts because he's proven he can't pitch for you at home. You might as well trade him to me, right? Hey, I'm just saying, and I'm right. So Tyler Chadwood has pitched well on the road. John Lester has pitched exceptionally well at home. He's 3-0 with a 2.15 earned run average and seven home starts this season. Last year at Wrigley, 10-2 with a 1.74 earned run average and 15 home starts. Cubbies just had their winning streak snap last night at home with a 6-5 loss to the Marlins after winning the first two games in the series. They've been playing exceptionally well at home. I'm looking at this game. Why not take the under in this contest? Again, Lester, strong home pitching. Chatwood, strong road pitching. 
I like the under. Cubs and Rockies under for your second complimentary play to go along with the Astros on the run line. Those are your two free plays for Thursday's card. Wish you well, guys, and I'll talk to you again tomorrow when we do this one more time.